As the highly contagious coronavirus Delta variant continues to sweep the United States, many communities have started to implement monetary incentives to encourage more citizens to take the vaccine. States such as Ohio, California, and Washington have established vaccine lotteries where winners selected from poor citizens who have gotten at least one jab will be awarded cash prizes of up to a million dollars. Other states, such as New York, have announced a $100 incentive for anyone who gets vaccinated at a city-run site. Economically speaking, vaccines are perfect examples of goods that have positive externalities. An externality is the uncompensated impact of one person's actions on the well-being of a bystander. If the impact on the bystander is adverse, it is called a negative externality. The release of pollutants into the air is a negative externality as self-interested firms do not consider the impact of these pollutants on society in the process of production. On the other hand, if the impact on the bystander is beneficial, it is called a positive externality. Vaccines create positive externalities because when a person gets vaccinated, she engages in an activity that influences the well-being of a bystander, but neither pays nor receives compensation for that effect. In other words, when you pay to get a vaccine, you indirectly benefit other people by lowering their chances of getting infected with a disease. The market equilibrium is not efficient when there are externalities because buyers and sellers neglect the external effects of their actions when deciding how much to demand or supply. Now let's consider the supply and demand curves of vaccines, which is a good that has a positive externality. In a typical market, as the price of a good falls, the quantity demanded rises because more buyers are more willing to buy a good at a lower price. Therefore, the demand curve slopes downward. Similarly, as the price of a good rises, the quantity supplied rises because more producers are more willing to supply a good at a given higher price. Therefore, the supply curve slopes upward. The demand curve shows the value of a good to consumers, while the supply curve shows the cost of a good to producers. Now, the intersection of the two curves determines the market equilibrium, where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. In the presence of a positive externality, the social value of the good exceeds the private value. The optimal quantity is therefore larger than the equilibrium quantity. The social value curve is above the demand curve, and the intersection between this curve and the supply curve is the new optimal quantity that should be produced and consumed. Governments are therefore inducing market participants to internalize the externality by establishing incentives that will increase the demand for vaccines. On another note, it is still imperative to consider the impact and effect of such incentives as society may not respond as predicted. Some may be even more discouraged to receive vaccinations, claiming that cash incentives support their theories about a corrupted and ill-intentioned government. According to Principle 4 of the 10 Principles of Economics, people respond to incentives, but as seen, sometimes incentives may lead to unintended consequences.